Hello everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video and in this video we are going to talk about shareable test events as you can see on my screen. So recently AWS has announced support for the option to share test events between multiple developers for Lambda functions within AWS Lambda console. So basically the test event is a JSON input to your function and it could be an empty event as well. So earlier we only had private events for the Sage Lambda function and those events were only available to the event creator. And with private events, you can basically create and save up to 10 private test events per function. But now with the recent announcement, they added the option to share the test events among multiple developers for the Sage Lambda function. So now let's have a look at few of the points about shareable test events. So moving along. So as I just mentioned, as of now, these events can only be shared with the IAM users in the same AWS account. Then uh, you can edit other users shareable test events and invoke functions with them and saving the edits will basically overwrite the test event. Now you might wonder that where this events data gets stored. So basically Lambda uh, will store the shareable test events as schema in an Amazon event bridge schema registry. And uh, this Amazon event bridge schema registry is named as Lambda test event schemas. And here it is recommended to not edit or create a registry using lambda hyphen test event hyphen schemas name. Okay. Now, in order to uh, have access to this uh, shareable test events, you must have event bridge schema registry operations permission to basically share and edit the shareable test events. Now, when you delete the shareable test events, lambda will remove them from the uh, above mentioned schema name that is lambda test event schemas. And when you basically remove the last shareable uh, test event from the registry, then it will basically result in deletion of the registry itself. Okay. And finally, when you delete the function, uh, then Lambda will not delete any associated shareable test event schemas. And that needs to be cleaned up manually from the uh, event bridge. Okay, so these are the few points that I wanted to highlight. Uh, now as the next step, we are going to have or we are going to have a look at the hands-on video. So let's navigate to the AWS Management Console and get started. So here I'm with an AWS Management Console and here I have logged in as SRC ECDE. And now if I switch the uh, window, then here on the top right corner, you might be able to see that here I have logged in with another user that is named as Chirag. Okay, so the reason that I have logged in with multiple accounts is because I want to demonstrate that how multiple users can access uh, those shareable events within the same AWS account. Okay, so let's navigate to Lambda Management Console from uh, the main account, I would say. So now uh, once you are within AWS Lambda, click on functions from the left panel and click on create function. Now here we will give a function name, I would say share event demo. And as a part of the runtime, I will say Python 3.9 and within permission, I'm going to select create a new role with basic Lambda permission. Okay, and then click on create function. Now here we have successfully created the Lambda function. Now let's click on test. And here you should be able to see two options that is create a new event. And the second option is edit saved event. Okay, so at this point of time, we don't have any shareable event. So that's the reason the second option is visible that is edit saved event. So here we are going to create a new event. So let's give the event name. I would say share test event. Okay. And then here we have event sharing settings. So here we need to select that uh, if we want to create the private event or if we want to create the shareable event which could uh, be shared with multiple developers within the same AWS account with necessary permissions. Okay. So here we are going to say create the shareable event. And then here as a part of the template, you will get multiple options to select from. So you can uh, select as per your requirement. So here in this case, let me select API Gateway Authorizer. So here uh, we have the uh, generated event data for API Gateway Authorizer. And then uh, once you configure this, you need to click on Save. Okay. Now you can test this Lambda function with this uh, event data. Now, as soon as you click on test button, uh, this event data will get passed as a part of the event parameter. So here we have successfully created the uh, shareable test event. And now if you can see here, here the edit saved event option is enabled. So if you want to create a new event, then you can click over here. But if you want to uh, open or edit the saved event, then you can click over here and you can select the test event from this dropdown. 
So now let's say I want to share this event that is share test event with other developers in the same AWS account. That means I want to share this event with uh, this account which is logged in as Chirag. Okay. But before that, let me navigate to IA management console just to show you that what permission that user has. Okay. So here we are within IA management console and from the left panel, I'm going to click on users. And here I have this user that is named as Chirag. So if I click on that, So here you will be able to see that uh, here only one permission is attached that is AWS Lambda full access. Okay. So now I'm switching the account. So here I have this account uh, as Chirag. Okay. So here I'm going to navigate to Lambda Management Console. Now here we are going to open the same Lambda function that we have created. So in my case, it's share event demo. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on test. Okay, now here as you can see, uh, we are unable to find or locate the event that we have created as a part of the other account, right? So here uh, we have created this share test event. Okay, now I want to share this event with this account or with this user, but I am unable to locate that, right? And here as you can see, the edit saved event option is also uh, disabled, right? It's because that this account or this user does not have the necessary permission to access that uh, event data, right? So if you remember then here, if you look at the last point, then it says to edit and share the test events, the user must have permission to event bridge schema registry API operations. So basically uh, the user uh, Chirag does not have the permission to event bridge schema registry API operation. And that is the reason that uh, we are unable to locate that test event uh, within that account. So now let's look at the permission for the user Chirag. So here uh, we have only provided the AWS Lambda full access uh, permission and it does not have the permission for event bridge schema uh, the registry API operation. Okay, so that is the reason uh, we are unable to locate uh, that uh, test event within this account. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to say add permission for that user. We are going to say attach existing policy directly. And here we are going to look for event bridge. And here you should be able to locate the Amazon event bridge schemas full access. So I'm going to check this and say next review. And then I'm going to click on add permissions. Now here we have successfully added the necessary permission for Amazon event bridge schema uh, access for the user Chirag. Now let's go back to that account and let's reload this and let's check whether uh, we are able to access that shareable event or not. So let me reload this. Now here, as you can see, the second option is enable that is added uh, saved event. And here uh, with an event name, uh, we are able to select the uh, event that we have just created as a part of the different account. Okay, so here, uh, is the lambda function and, and this is the event that we have created that is share test event and here in this account as well we are able to uh, access that event so this is how you can uh, share the test events with multiple users under same account now let's say we want to modify this event and i want to modify this event from this account that is chirag okay what will happen so let me uh, modify this instead of type token i would say type access now as soon as i make the modification in this event uh, the save into bracket overwrite option will get enabled okay now as soon as i click on the save overwrite this will overwrite the event across all the accounts okay so now if i go back to the original account and if i reload this then i should be able to see the uh, modification here as well okay so as you can see uh, this event data has been modified to type access so if you are sharing an event and if any of the user uh, modify this event, then it will get reflected across all the accounts. Okay. And finally, let's see what will happen if we delete this event. So let me click on uh, delete and say delete again. So this event will get deleted. And if I go back to another account and try to reload this, then here also I will not be able to find that event because it is deleted and it will be reflected across all the accounts. Okay, so as I mentioned that uh, these events get stored into the Amazon event bridge schema registry, which is named as Lambda test event schemas, right? And it's the central location or the central storage for all the events. So any modification that you make will get stored into that uh, schema registry. 
okay and when you delete that event it will uh, delete the event from that schema registry hence all the modification get reflected across all the accounts so guys uh, that's all i wanted to cover as a part of this video and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time